Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now I would love uh, to ask you for one thing. Please close your eyes and take your mobile phones out of the pockets. Please try that. First of all, you will find yourself having troubles just to open the phone. And then, if you are successful, write something very simple. For example, how are you? I will be late. I love you. You will find yourself having troubles. And not only you, there are more than 280 million people that are visually challenged worldwide. And completely 40 million of them are blind. And they are having problems because no simple and cheap solution does exist for them today. Of course, they got an old traditional phones with hardware keyboard. However, the life cycle of this mobile phone is almost at the end. And with the new wave of smartphones, they've got big difficulties to control them. It takes days or even weeks or even months to control the mobile phone. Three years ago, we were approached by a user and he asked for a help. Well, uh, it was a challenge for us, but we promised to solve this problem. But we didn't have any idea how to proceed. Therefore, we followed the user-centered design principle and we asked our users. We approached a Czech association of blind here in Prague and with the help of uh, 10 users, with the help of the association and with the help of Vodafone Foundation that provide us for a kick-off phase some resources we were able to create a blind child solution together. The easiest way to touch phones for visually challenged people. And this is our solution. It's a touch phone, smartphone, with integrated ecosystem inside. It's not just only about uh, sending SMS messages or making a phone calls. It's more even complex. If you are a blind or visually challenged person, you need a lot of gadgets to help you. Like, for example, color detector, a special gadget device for background recognition, some kind of device for magnifying text. And these are quite expensive. They could cost you about several ten, hundreds, even thousand dollars. And not even that. We also integrated some special solutions for them, like Bookshare, the biggest online library of textbooks, or LibriVox, the biggest open library of audiobooks that, can, that anybody can download. We are few. Uh, today I would like to introduce our new PR face, White Curly Dog Momo. He just joined us three weeks ago. It's an assistive dog of uh, Lady Nure. Next to Murray, it's a Bronya, our first country manager that is responsible for German and Austria market. And behind the girls, it's a Jan that help us with business development. And the rest of them, they are very smart and young programmers. We started one year ago. We introduced our solution in Side City. This is the biggest fair trade ever. They take place every year in March in uh, Frankfurt. Since that, we've been acquiring 15 business partners across 10 countries. And recently, this March, uh, we visited India region, South Asia, and uh, we went to the another fair trade in uh, San Diego, United States. Regarding our business activities, we use indirect model. That means that we are cooperating with assistive technology companies, with National Organization of Blind. Recently, we started cooperating with eye clinics, especially in developing countries and uh, the future is a cooperation with mobile operators. Having said that, that there are more than 280 million people that are visually impaired, you can see that uh, the biggest attention should be in the South Asia, especially India. There are more clients that in South, North and Europe together. About 75 million people are visually impaired there. But uh, the big problem is a cost. You need really cheap solution for them. 
Therefore, we started cooperating with Foscon Company. This is the biggest hardware producer. We just signed a contract, and today, several thousand low-cost Foscon quality mobile phones are shipped to Pardubice from Shenzhen in China. In Pardubice, there is a global service distribution center that is responsible for guarantee service and logistic. During my roadshow in India, I was uh, very surprised that nearly a quarter of population needs some kind of eye care. I visited two centers in Hyderabad, it's a prestigious LV Prasad Eye Institute, and then I went to the south near, the, near to Sri Lanka in Madurai, where is an Aravind care system. It's a prestigious center that is backed up by World Health Organization and the biggest foundation ever and uh, they are very, very efficient. They could give a care of 13,000 patients daily with uh, four big clinics, with 50 daily centers that are separated across Tamil, South India region. And they were a very nice business model. 60% of care that are providing is for free. So anybody, anybody is really cured there. And the rest, the 40% are paying for the poor 60%. And still, they are making like $10 million yearly. And they are still NGO. So they are really good partners for cooperation. And we just start some small pilots there. Here you can see two small boys. It was for the first time that they were, were holding the smartphone in their hands. And I was very happy to see that in a few minutes they were able to control the mobile phone with a little help of their teacher on your right. Then we come back to New Delhi. We visited there a fair trade and again uh, it was a second surprise for me. There were lots of smart devices that were very affordable and very, very advanced. Basically speaking, designed by Indian Institute of Technology. So just to recap, Yes, we are working in each market. It's very challenging. However, there are just only a few competitors. So it means that it's a really good opportunity for cooperation. We saw the example of Foxon to make a, some kind of share value. And most importantly, our customers like the blind sense solution, like uh, Stevie Wonder in San Diego, careful listening to our presentation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you very much for your attention.